Hi everyone, welcome to, Ian you're not on yet, welcome to Seasons of Love, starring me and Ian, but now I'll transfer Hi. over to Ian. Can you hear me now? Yes, everyone can hear you, I'm going to turn they down the game me? volume. Okay. Um, Hi. Hi folks, we're here this weekend, Hi. Saturday night stream to check out some delicious Xbox Series X. Um, it is a console that has been released this week on the Tuesday. Uh, Ian and I both have one. Uh -huh. And, uh, we're gonna check it out. We're playing some Forza right here. I'm holding up traffic. Um, I also have to turn this game down, because it is very loud in my ear holes. Um... Uh, I, need to f I need to find you. You need to find me. Apparently, I haven't beaten the tutorial in this game, as Ian has pointed you know, out to me. I, but the thing is... Um, now that I'm looking at it, there are other people on this map. Yeah. So, honestly, not sure. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, but who cares? So, so I, I have a pretty good reason to think that you haven't, and it's because the way they do the, the live service in this game is that the, the season changes every week, and everybody's on the same season. Yeah. And so I was not, I was not in winter. But the entire game should be on the same season. Yeah. I don't even so... know how to see if I finish the tutorial. Yeah, I don't know either. I remember it taking a while. It's yeah. basically just like taking you through a bunch of events, and then at some point it dumps you out. But I, I don't know. All right, I'm going to come and meet up with you. So, Series X... This stream is not about Forza Horizon. This is just about kind of Series X impressions. We are now 
what four days in about 96 hours in yeah uh how how you liking it so far i'm really enjoying it um it's just like i i mostly bought the console to just have a faster xbox to play the games i'm currently playing on it better Mm -hmm. uh also that way karen could use my series x or my one x uh in the other room uh so she can play with her friends and stuff um but it's great uh i I really like it what are you saying karen okay um so it's it's pretty great uh load times pretty much across the board even if it's not a like optimized for series x s uh seems to work pretty well and a lot of frame rate bumps on most of the stuff i tested um but like as far as official games that are patched for the X and the S, um, I only have three of them. Uh, the Destiny patch, I believe, isn't out yet, um, even though it does run a little bit better. So I'm kind of looking forward to more games throwing those patches out there so I can test them. Um, oh, you're so cute. Thanks. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's fun to play games in 60 frames a second. Yeah, um, I, I'm starting to get, look, I think this is a fantastic console. I just, I don't think it's a good console launch because it just doesn't feel like next gen. It feels like when the One X came out and you're like, holy crap, this is a really powerful console, but it's not actually coming with next gen tech. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have a next gen selling point it doesn't have next gen games so while i do think it's a great console if you're running a one x you really don't need to upgrade if you're running an xbox one i would say maybe depending on how much you play the xbox if you don't have an xbox then i would say just maybe just get the series s i don't know it's hard to tell because i i was playing some games and there are plenty of games like Watch Dogs legion that decided we're not going to give you the choice. We're just going to do 4K 30 FPS with ray tracing on. And that game runs badly. It still runs badly, even on this next-gen console. So you're kind of at a mercy of the developers, you know. Um, do they want to let you play at 60 FPS or not? It, you know, talking about the PS5 side, they had a similar thing with um, The Last Guardian, which is a very buggy frame rate problem game on a base PS4. PS4 Pro, it it, it struggles, but it still gets closer to 30 FPS. On a PS5, that is still locked to 30 FPS. And it's like, what's the freaking point of these new consoles if there's not enough games to play on them? There's not enough yeah. next-gen tech other than basically DualSense. And I, I wouldn't even call fast-loading that much of a next-gen tech. It's it's It just feels like a console, like a mid-gen refresh. So I'm honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. Um I still think it's a great console. I just, I don't think either console is that great of a launch. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason to go out and buy either of the consoles right now. Absolutely not. Both of us are crazy. That's why we did it. Yeah. Um, I The only caveat I would say is if you do not have an Xbox One, you need to go out and buy an Xbox Series S. There is absolutely no excuse. Oh, it runs yeah. at 1440p, 60 FPS, and that gets you access to the Xbox Game Pass console catalog, which is... An incredible value. This game is on Game Pass. I don't own this game. Will doesn't own this game. This is a Game Pass game. Yeah, if you were even considering buying a game console, just in general, uh, I would go for the S regardless. Like, even if... Because, uh, I mean, the PlayStation Digital, whatever. But, like, um, if you just want access to play video games, just buy an S. Like, that. uh, the way I think about it is, like, the the Xbox Series S should be the default, like, hospital video game console that's on the cart yeah because it's like like what else are you gonna do i agree um um yeah game pass is incredible i'm just gonna find an event for us to queue up to do it girl let's do some drag racing because that's always fun um yeah and, and i i've been struggling quick resume it's I know there's a bug out there where it's not working for for some games, but even when I launched this today, it launched the splash screen and it said quick resume 
and it was not quick resume it started me fresh hmm. so i want to love quick resume but it does not seem to be working reliably right now um and watchdogs legion doesn't support it yakuza like a dragon does not support it so it's it's kind of frustrating i really want to use that tech because i am hopping between games yeah but it's not letting you do it so um well, yeah other than that what, what about what about other impressions of the console um i thought the setup process was real nice and easy i kind of like that yeah using your phone to uh give it all your settings and saying like hey just back it up for my old console that was perfect uh copying over games took a little bit for me um also i i filled my my hard drive up real fast yeah but to be fair that's your problem because don't right. you have like a two terabyte hard drive filled with like 60 games that 90 percent of them you just never play anymore yeah so i so like i just luck yeah. through that i i actually considered um getting the extern the like expansive thing the little plug-in thing but not for that price and not until yeah, it's, it's just not further tested plus I, I can just get a list of games that i need to have on the internal versus an external so uh yeah because that, that's the other thing for 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 people who aren't in the know basically if you're going to run an xbox series x game it has to run off of the internal or the expansion card because that is the faster ssd um yeah. if you're playing backwards compatible games you can just run it off a usb hard drive um the other nice so, thing is the expansion card just adds to your hard drive it doesn't create a separate one yes which i think is neat um but yeah i think I, i'm gonna the older hard drive i had i'm gonna keep with the one x that karen's using and i, I think i'm gonna buy a newer uh external hard drive see if xbox recommends a new uh yeah, I mean they're pretty cheap. One. But I mean like honestly, how how often do you need to do you really feel the need to keep all those games downloaded at the same time? Uh only cuz my internet takes forever. Yeah, but I just mean um like okay, so let me I'm going to look at my console real quick. I I downloaded a lot because I was trying to show it off on stream. It was kind of wonky launch day. The first five minutes of launch day, I was downloading at 200 megs off the Xbox network, and then it took a nosedive down to like 20. Jeez. So, so my stream kind of sucked because I was like, we're going to hop around all these games. And I think I got one downloaded. Um, all right. So I. OK, sorry, 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 sorry. I have currently installed. I have. Apex Legends, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, Ori the Will-O-Wisp, Tetris Effect Connected, Yakuza Like a Dragon, and Watch Dogs of Legion. And I still have 487 gigs free. So I, I don't mean to push back against you buying an external hard drive. I just, I think, unless you're installing Call of Duty, I don't think it's, I mean, I've got seven games installed. You, you do have to do a little bit of shuffling, but at the same time, I mean, unless you really need 50 games... Okay. Yeah, my so. my problem is I had uh I've I had Hitman 2 which is over 100. I had Red Dead Redemption oh, wow. 2 which is over 100. Halo a over 100. Pack. Um I had a oh, couple Master other Chief ones. Collection. Yeah, Master Chief Collection. Um Didn't know that. A couple other ones. So I I <clears throat> when I was transferring the hard drive, I had 1.5 terabytes to uh, I think it was 802 that this Xbox can fit. So, I mean, I deleted a bunch of stuff. But there was no issue. I was just thinking, oh, I could just get a separate hard drive and throw all the crap that I just ha have sitting around onto it. Um, yeah. Like the 360 and games and the cheap. Xbox games. So. They're very cheap. I've seen 8 terabyte hard drives for like 120 bucks. Yeah. It's just easier for me to keep them installed than delete them and re-download them. Um, that's fair unless i'm bringing this this sucker to work and just uh installing it there um it's a little bit faster yeah quick resume i i had it working it works well for ori and the will of the wisps and it's pretty great um i do think that is a great feature i just wish it was the the way they described it it sounds like it's just a bug during launch week where it's not working for as many titles as it should but i really hope they get that fixed yeah i i don't see myself ever using it because i i never use those things but 
it seems like Quakers a neat, do? neat yeah seems like a neat well uh, you don't you don't get a choice it just does it automatically so if you if you back out of a game and you launch it if it's quick resume supported it just does it no i'm saying so, so even if, even if you save the game and back out to a menu it's still going to quick resume the next time you launch it right i just mean when i'm done with a game i back out of it and quit it on an xbox yeah yeah but i mean it's still going to quick resume so you'll skip all the splash screens and everything gotcha yeah so it's one of those features where you can't really turn it off it's just gonna work. yeah i i meant i i never use the quick resume where i like i back out of a game and then start a different game and then go back to the first game i'm not gonna do that i don't mean to bust your balls but then why do you have 50 games installed if you're not switching between them <laughs> i'm not switching between them and keeping them in running at the same time no but the thing is but with quick resume it's they're going to be running right I, I just don't do that what's the point i'm not going to go back to the other game why would i leave it running okay wait wait, wait since we got time for this i need to i need i'm putting down my controller i need to do that. <laughs> okay so say i'm playing if i'm playing forza horizon no, no, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. i understood that you needed all these games installed because you're not like playing one game for like a week straight and then and then uninstalling it and installing a new game then playing that for a week straight you're you're moving between games and you want them to be downloaded so that you can you don't have to wait for them to download. That makes sense. A lot of people do that. But now you're telling me that you don't do that, that you don't switch games. No, I do not switch games at all. I just leave them installed. No, but but as in you play a game for a couple hours and then either next or that day or the next day you you change to a different game. No, I do that, but I don't leave the other game running. Well, but Quick Resume is not leaving it running. I didn't say it was, but I go in, you, you can't go and quit the game and have it Quick Resume. Oh, you're saying you go all the way to the home menu and then quit it? Yeah, I always do that. Why? I don't know. I've done it ever since the Xbox One because it, it always like glitches. Yeah, but like I can understand going back to the game menu, the in-game menu, saving. I can understand doing that, but why are you going to the home menu and quitting it? I don't know. I, I always go to the home menu, quit the game, and then turn the Xbox off. Yeah. Well, here's here's the good news. I would recommend going to the in-game menu and saving, but you don't have to quit it anymore because Quick Resume is if when it works, it works great. Um, even if even if you don't trust the saving, it will at least get you to the main menu more quickly. Yeah. Um, can I ask you another question? Yes. Do you leave your controller plugged in because you don't trust the wireless? No. Why would I do that? That's a stupid thing. Okay. Can I ask you another question? Yes. Do you play on a CRT because you don't trust HDTV? Like this is not the same line of questioning. This is the same. It's you're like, look, I understand the technology's there, but I am still going to fully quit the game every time because I don't want to take advantage of it. Do you know how much that failed on the Xbox One X and the Xbox One? Look, I think I think if you if you quit out of the game while you were like actively playing, yes, it would fail sometimes. But if you backed out to the in-game menu, like like with Red Dead Redemption, I would just hit start, save the game, and then go to go to Xbox and do whatever I wanted. If it was a different game or YouTube or whatever. And then the next time I launched Red Dead Redemption, admittedly, it was intermittent. It would either take me straight to that Red Dead Redemption pause menu or it would boot the game entirely. Yeah. But I, but that's why I always saved before I backed out. But I never quit the game because why quit it? Yeah, I just always quit my games. That, that's my point is, Will, the technology's there. You don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, but Save. It, definitely it, save, but don't quit. But it, it opens so fast anyways. No, it doesn't. It does. Like Yakuza, Yakuza 7 still takes like... It's, it probably still takes like 45 seconds from launching it to getting to in-game on an Xbox Series X. And I know this because it doesn't support Quick Resume. But when I just back out of it and then I and then I go back into it, you it's it takes you right to the menu and you add, what, maybe 8, 10 seconds for Quick Resume? Yeah, I, I guess like the only time I'm quitting a game is when I'm going to stop playing video games and turn my Xbox off. Yeah, but what I'm telling you, Will is this is like an intervention it's like you don't have to do that anymore 
No, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying on the Xbox One X and the Xbox One, that is what I did. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just telling you, you didn't have to do that. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> because if I turn the console off, it stops the game. Uh, it depends on what type of state you had enabled. I, I don't I don't sleep my consoles. I turn them off. Oh, well, but even if you're not sleeping the console... This one, yes. It's not, it's not going to hurt if you like with the red dead redemption example as long as you save the game before you back out to the home menu it's not going to hurt to then shut your console off it's still going to gracefully shut down yeah i I just muscle memory do it so i mean it's no harm i'm just it's just a little befuddling to me like i'm 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 finding it funny to bust your chops on this because it really is like (laughs) this is like real old school stuff you're like i don't trust it it's like, you know, your grandpa with a computer. I don't trust it. No, don't it's not that I'm not trusting it. It's, it's that I don't care about it. I don't buy things online. I don't trust it. You know? <laughs> I just find it easier to quit the game and then turn my console off. Yes, I hear you saying that. But what you're saying is I find it easier to do several extra steps and then wait longer the next time I load it. But if it wasn't an option, then why wouldn't they just get rid of it? Uh, because sometimes you have to quit the game if it if it gets into a wonky state. There's and there's apps like sometimes Netflix like doesn't load properly and I have to quit it. Yeah, so I, I'm not saying I'm going to continue to do it. I'm just that's what I've always done. Okay. Gotcha. I just want to bust your chops, old man. That's all I'm saying. Like it was the I think it was the launch of Palooza that Brad from Giant Bomb was trying to test it, and the whole chat told him he quit the game instead of just exiting the game. They're like, it's not going to work. Uh, and he goes, oh, sorry. It's just muscle memory. Wow. Um, it's because I used to, I would quit the game and then like turn off my Xbox because I wanted to make sure the game, like my Xbox wasn't still accidentally using power or something, you know? Oh, that's a little apparent. I mean, electricity is kind of cheap. Kind of. No, but like yeah, I didn't want to accidentally pulling downloads or like oh, stuff that's like fair. that. That's fair. Yeah, that's, see, that's the main, the main reason, reason why I don't I sleep my stuff. That's the main reason why I... Well, actually, no, it's the second reason. The main reason is because it's my main media console. And I want it to quick boot when I just want to turn on YouTube or Netflix. And then the other yeah. one is that with the Xbox app, like when I bought Yakuza, I bought it off my phone. And it was like, great, thanks for purchasing. Do you want to install this? And I said, yes. And it it downloaded it without turning the Xbox on. Um, and I've done that like fully remote. Like I've done that from the office and I come home and the game is installed. Jeez. Yeah. It's, I, it's um, uh, crap. What was I going to say? The, oh, I totally lost it. I, oh, I, when I, <laughs> when I turning this console on from sleep is like less than a second for the menu to pop up, yeah. which is crazy. I, and even cold booting this thing, uh, is yeah. Karen timed it. I think it was nine seconds. Yeah, it's fair. Or no, 18 seconds to get to the main yeah. menu. And it's then it was... It's just, I, I think it's a bit of a... I, I, I'm still on the fence as to whether I like or don't like that they didn't really do anything with the UI. And I think the big negative is that this really just feels like a mid-gen refresh. Yeah. And that's just not, that's not enough to sell a console. Especially since you don't have any exclusive titles, which is part of their strategy but it's like i think once xbox yeah. one sales end they'll start changing stuff up yeah and and i mean they already have more announced xbox series x exclusives than there are announced ps5 exclusives yeah so um so it's pretty funny i just uh yeah it's like a, a guy i work with he was like so pumped to get a ps5 and i was like why he's like miles morales man i'm like but it's on the PS4. He goes, no, nah, but it's going to look so good. I'm like, I guess. But, but yeah, sure. I already, did, didn't already run at 60 on the PS4? Yeah, but like this is the type of guy who doesn't know how to navigate like Windows. So I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, plus my fr- all my friends are getting it. I'm like, if that that's a perfectly fine reason to get a console. <laughs> to like, get. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah, the other thing is that, I mean, unless he's playing Call of Duty, it's like, I'm getting it with my friends to play all these single player games, <laughs> you know? 
I was like, um, bro. That being said, I do think Sony has had a better launch because of Miles Morales is a stronger launch title. They have uh, Demon Souls, they have Astrobot, and that Dual Sense, man, they're killing it with that. Yeah, that thing looks nice. So, like, I've been seeing a lot of TikToks come out yesterday and today from uh, Call of Duty because that just came out. And the engagement point on the trigger is different depending on which type of gun you're using. Oh, that's cool. And it, it has like a soft stop. So like you pull the trigger down like half a centimeter and nothing happens. And then you feel a little bit of a stop, like a real gun trigger. And then you pull through it to sh actually shoot the gun. Oh, that sounds really good. Will, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been looking to buy a PS5. I'm going to be honest um, with you. I have tried to buy it twice. <laughs> yes. I have not been lucky enough to try to buy it, but I have been watching. I have had it in my cart and Best Buy saying no. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, probably for the best. <laughs> yes. Uh, I know. Between, like, the PS5 and the 3080, I'll, I got money I want to put down, people. <laughs> Just let me buy it. I still can't get a 3080. Oh. Um, hey, I just want to say something real quick. Will? Yeah. You're going to get the disc edition, right, so that we can share discs? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally why. I was like, I'm not buying Demon Souls. I'll just play it when Will's done with it. <laughs> also, um, I'm surprised we've never done the home console trick between ourselves. Oh, is that going to work now that we both have two Xboxes? Yeah, but I use it with Karen, but you can do it with the PlayStation. So if we got PS5s, we could do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we could try that. Um, I'm trying to go to this train thing. Yeah, if you get Demon Souls, I'll, I'm going to get Miles Morales. Because I, I could play Miles Morales on the PS4, but honestly, I do want to play it on PS5 to, to kind of... That seems like a great game to play that is also great on a new system. You know. Speaking of uh, next-gen consoles, I did purchase a, um, a Nintendo Game & Watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Um, I completely forgot those were coming out. Me too. I I bought it mostly because I thought it'd be fun to have and that it was a little rare, but I actually think they're still in stock a lot of places. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm excited to see what it's like. Uh, I, that comes tomorrow. I already looked up like what hackers were doing with emulators for it. Mm -hmm. um, and so far, the consensus was like, if you want to do emulation stuff on it, you might have to break it open um, because the USB on it uh, only connects to power oh i'm kind of okay with that that'd but be a uh little project. yeah that's what i was thinking too it's like you know what that could be fun yeah so we'll just the have to see what I... what it could run but yeah the only reason i didn't buy it was because i had a little bit of a come to jesus moment where i said look i needed to stop buying these mini consoles because i play them <laughs> once on stream and then i never touch them again oh uh, i think I that was my tweet <laughs> I don't even have a proper way to display them right now. What if I did? I know, right? Um, plus, oh, I'm not cool train. enough to, like, crack the game and watch, make it an emulated console, and then use it as a handheld. I'm just, like, I don't want to say I'm too lazy to do that. I'm too lazy to actually use it like that. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's the way I get with Raspberry Pis and even my Mister. It's like once you're done, like, hacking it and loading all the stuff onto it, you're like, I don't really want to play anything right yeah. now. <laughs> I was literally just thinking about the two Raspberry Pi 3s that I have. And I was like, maybe I should get a Pi 4. And I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a 4 and 2 th Raspberry Pi 3s. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll make it play Seinfeld whenever I enter a room. Uh, speaking of Seinfeld, have you been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon? I have not. You know, I think it's a really good game. I, I got to be honest with you, Will. I think I think I'm done with Yakuza. I think I think I put so much into Yakuza Zero, and it was such like a fresh new experience that I just can't. I I just can't, you know. Yeah. Does that make sense? Well, I was gonna ask you if you thought I should get Yakuza Like a Dragon or Valhalla. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay, first of all, you should get Valhalla on disc so I can play it eventually. <laughs> Second of all, um, <laughs> um, with 
Um, it, you played Yakuza 0 recently, right? Yeah, this year. Okay, so just ask yourself if you want to do more of that. Like the exact same style game. The content is different, but the style is exactly the same, except that it's like RPG fighting instead of brawler fighting. But like it's the same like long cutscenes, it's the same sub stories, it's the same bonkers characters, it's the same mini game type stuff, it's the same like it's a different area, but it's the same type of area. Like if you want to do more of that, then yes, absolutely. But I think the problem is I got all of that out of my system with Yakuza Zero. So now that I'm I'm like seven, eight hours into Yakuza like a dragon, I'm like, I I know what's coming in this game and I'm just not finding it exciting anymore. Yeah. You know? You know, my heart says yes. But I think my heart also says yes after I play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Oh, yeah, wait, I've, I've played seven Hubble or eight game? hours. Oh, I want to do the train yeah, we, one. We just got to beat Maybe it. I went to the wrong one. Um. Yeah. But it's also like, I, I hate life because I, I have so many video games I need to just play in general. Yet I'm yeah. here talking about buying a new game. I'm just more worried about, I got my, my Thanksgiving vacation coming up and like, that's basically like nine days in which I'm not playing video games. So. Oh, true. Like I, I bought Hades and I have that sitting oh, on Hades. Epic. It's good. I've been, Hades. I've been playing constant rim world. Um, I cannot stop. This is a very good game. Um, you know, honestly, I was planning to play Yakuza for like a week, but I'm now in this weird period where basically I'm going on vacation starting next Sunday, COVID permitting. And the problem is between now and next Sunday, which is eight days, I could probably beat Miles Morales if I could get a freaking PS5 now, you know, but I can't. So, and I I don't think I want to play more Yakuza. So I'm like... Okay, and I th- I think I'm a little burnout on Hades. I didn't I didn't beat it, but I probably did like 40, 50 runs. Um, so I'm just kind of like in this weird space. And then by the time I get back from vacay, it's like you know what, eleven days until Cyberpunk. Oh yeah, so I forgot like, about. That. Yeah, that's the other thing is like, do I have time for a Valhalla? I think you do right now. Because if you buy it now, that's basically what two, three. It's like two, three weeks until, maybe maybe even four weeks until Cyberpunk. Oh, I missed this checkpoint and it screwed me. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I, you know, I'm now back on the decision train of whether I want to get Cyberpunk for PC or Xbox Series X because I have a feeling. Did they mm-hmm. like explicitly say when the next gen upgrades were would be out yeah you know they didn't but the thing is one of the reasons why they delayed was they said they need to qa it on the series x and and it was a little cryptic it was like are you talking about optimized for series x and you're qa in that or are you just talking about the xbox like, one game being played on yeah. the Series X? so I, I don't know plus the other thing is i think it was like six seven months ago that they last said the next gen upgrade is going to be several months after launch. So that may have changed. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Cause you're in a good spot where you have your 2070 super. So you could totally play it on your PC and be happy with it. Yeah. I have, a, I have a 1080, so I, I could play it, but I would probably not be happy with it. So I was, I was, I thought I'd have my 3080 by the time it comes out, but honestly, I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. So, but I definitely don't, I don't want to play it on PC because, I mean, on console, because I don't like first-person shooters on console that much. Oh, I forgot you said PC. that, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm probably going to get it for PC, and I'd like to play it at launch. But I don't know if my 1080 could... My 1080 could handle it, but at the same time, I want to I want to stress test that game, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll decide probably last minute whether or not I get it on series x or not oh that was the behemoth show it's gonna look it's probably gonna look better on series x than your pc and if you're fine with a controller then i would say just do that's where xbox let's do another event yeah i'm trying to get to the train event it's behind me let's switch cars can i not just like 
go to it? Uh, you may not have unlocked the fast travel yet. Oh, there's a fast travel board. Oh, I see. Okay, so I just need to head up this mountain. Gotcha. Yeah, this game looks good. It's just that it's it's basically like an Xbox One game running at 4K 60. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of new graphics tech on top of it. Um, I tell you what, though. Watch Dogs Legion was the first time I have played a ray tracing game. And it looks really good, the ray tracing. The rest of the game looks like... Um, have we said our S word yet for this stream? No. Looks like dog shite. <laughs> um, like that, it just has problems where it's like past like 50 yards, everything gets super pixelated. Like I'll be, I, I did it on stream. It was almost perfect when I did it on the launch stream because I was like, everything, all the bad things I wanted to show off about the graphics in that game were just happening simultaneously on the screen all the time. Like I was driving across a bridge and I was like, look at that truck a hundred yards away. And then it disappears and then another <laughs> car pops in next to it. Like the pop in the like the level of detail loading, it's not good. But as soon as I loaded in, it was it wasn't raining, but it had recently rained, so the streets were slick, oh, and nice. the reflections on it were incredible, just amazing. So it's it's definitely one of those things where it's like ray tracing. It's good stuff, man. It's still very intense, but when yeah. it's working, it adds a lot to a game. I played it doesn't the save the game. I played the quake ray tracing oh, thing. Yeah. That was free. That that looked really good on my oh, PC. You know what? I lied. The first thing the only other thing I've played ray tracing was the Minecraft ray tracings. Uh shaders. I wanted to try that. It's incredible. It's it completely changes the game. It's like you're still using the vanilla textures, but it it's almost like you're not because everything is reflecting so much well, so much better. Like one of the things was somebody had built like a lava pit in the middle of the village. And it was just like, oh, it's just a lava pit. But as soon as you turn on ray tracing, like it was like reflecting this red glow everywhere. And then it started to rain. So all these puddles are on the ground. And it was just like, it looked incredible. Um, Wee. So highly recommend that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh man, um, I can play some Minecraft. Uh, Valhalla is supposed to run. Well, actually, actually, I did just hear today that Valhalla has some screen tearing issues on the Series X, but it doesn't have that on the PS5, so it's probably just a patch to fix it. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you, yeah. You buy Valhalla. Yeah. And I'll borrow it. I'm gonna buy it for a while. Oh, look at that train. I have I did I tell you I've seen the Flying Scotsman? <gasps> Jealous. I love the Flying Scotsman. It was it was, was being restored in I think it was in York, the train museum we went to. Really good train museum. They had um one of the engine boilers cut in half so you could see all the pipes. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. crazy. Crazy. I really want to get one of those half size trains that like you can ride on. <laughs> That's like my goal in life is to have those for like my grandkids. Oh yeah. Are they like full um, steam and everything? Yeah. I think that's the only way to do it. I um my my discovery tab on my Instagram is all trains and bakery stuff because that's like oh, wow. what I looked up at one point. Uh, yeah. And uh like Every other train post is like some narrow gauge guy in England or like New Zealand, some British country who has one of those and is like, it's like showing it off. Oh, wow. And I'm like, oh, I just need to do this. It'd be so much fun. I think fun. I've seen some, some TikToks of that, but where it's like, oh, no. It's, it's, oh, my God. It's slippery oh, out here. You, you were going crazy. I know. I couldn't. I was like counter steering. Back and forth, back and forth. Um, this is so cool. I've seen some on TikTok. I, I don't know if it's a job or if it's just a couple people who have a course. And they have like, he's like explaining the rules. He's like, all right, here's how we don't do head-on collisions. 
you come to this juncture, you have to stop and take the pass. And then when you come to the next stop, you hand off the pass to the other train. You're only allowed to use this. And they're like doing the half scale trains. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I um, I love trains. They're very cool. Oh no! Why is it playing Bye -bye. Knight of the Pumpkin Kings, King of the Pumpkin Fairies? Do you mean in the Hall of the Mountain King? Yes, in the Hall of the Mountain King, not Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. That's the other one. This song, public domain. Thank God. Thought about Still using. Still gonna it get a, a copyright strike, strike for yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> because we're on Twitch. Uh oh. It's okay. I'll just mute the game. Uh oh, big jump. Whoa! Oh, I almost landed on the train. That would have been good. You know, for all my complaints about this game, like how it's a bit too arcadey and it's very similar to Forza Horizon 3, still, you know, a lot, a great way to waste some time. I I think I'm like a level 155. <laughs> yeah, it's a good podcast game. Yeah, I've played this game a lot. It's not a great it's 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 an okay arcade well it's a pretty good arcade racing game it's just not a good race it's no burnout paradise but there's also just a lot of like ai rubber banding where they're like constantly trying to like make it interesting so like you can be like dead last for the entirety of a race in the last like five percent they will always let you catch up oh and that's pretty annoying, annoying. yeah but they do a really good job of like letting you drive these vehicles and they actually feel different. They feel somewhat like their real life counterparts. You can easily customize them. Hi, Maggie. What are you? Why are you staring at Will on the monitor? Hey, Maggie. Jesus. Put your clothes God, back on. She's creepy. Oh, no. Are we going to win? I finished. You have to do it again. Oh. Turn the train Tyler. around? That's not how it works, woman. Should we do uh, uh, Tetris Effect Connected? Do you want to do Tetris Effect Connected? Yeah. So what you're telling me is I don't have to quit this game. I just hit the guide button. Yes. And then I click on Tetris Effect Connected. Yes. And then, you know, it'll be okay. You know, isn't it diverting some of the system power to keep... Forza running? No, it suspends it. I don't know. Even on the Xbox One, it suspended it in the background. It just didn't do a great job of bringing it up most of the time. I don't know. Photo sensitivity warning, everybody. Have you, uh, you played any of this? Nope. I've never played a Tetris game. God, <laughs> I forgot about... Uh, I played a couple, I played like two, three hours of this, and I gotta say, uh, Giant Bomb, this is not the game of the year. This is a good Tetris, but it is not the game of the year. I think it was the VR version that was specifically game of the year. It's, I played it in VR, it's not great. In VR, it's just a screen in front of you. Well, not a screen in front of you, but it's like, you're just holding a controller, and instead of looking at a screen, it's in front of you. That's it. You know, there's nothing crazy about it. I wanna be a Tetris block. Multiplayer. How do I multi the player? Okay, all right. I'm just going to skip all this. How do I multiplayer? Uh, Why is there an interstellar thing here? I'm going to invite you. Why did it say welcome guardian? Bad movie, right? Great movie. It's a bad movie. Bad story, great movie. Yeah. It's, what is it, awful taste but great execution? Yeah. Okay, all right. I need to... You said you invited me because I did not get an invitation. I don't know. I was going through menus, but it never actually said invite. Oh, here we go. Now I'm here. Invite to game. Invite to game. Invite to the game. Invite to the game. I think I think I said an invite. 
I didn't get one. Oh, so you have to select it, and then this extra prompt pops off to the side that says, like, do you want to send the invite? <laughs> you know? Are you sure? This guy's kind of shady. Yeah. No, it's just weird, because it's like this nice UI where you're like, invite to game, select the person. You select it, there's a check mark, and then this little tiny button prompt pops up, and it's like, send invite. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Okay. All right, Waiting for our it. third player. Oh, I'm ready. Yo, make him legit. No, he's going to be a beginner, because that's what you are. Thank you. Ooh. Oh. Match begins. Mamacita, mamacita. Buenos dias, mamacita. Woo! I'm ready. Do you want to hear my DMV story today? Yeah, you got your license finally. Yeah, and my registration and license plate as well. Um, so I went there. Uh -huh. And I brought all my stuff. And it was going pretty well. For you. And uh -huh. I must have... I, I have a thing with uh, old ladies where they love me. Oh, no. And uh, the receptionist, I think, really liked me. So... Right now in New Jersey, Do you know about this? yes, she loves it. Right now in New Jersey, the DMVs or the M MVCs, Motor Vehicle Center, are set to um, half of them are uh, licensing and the other half are vehicle centers. So the one I went to was a licensing center to do my license. Uh, and so the lady said, since you're an out of state transfer, um, the receptionist, she was like, let me try and make it so they can just do your title as well and registration. I said, oh, thank you. That'd be very nice. So she does that. So I'm with this lady, and she's doing all my stuff. And she hands me my license receipt so I can, like, pay. And she's like, okay, I'm going to start in your title. And I say, okay. So I stand there for a little bit. And then I look down, and I see it says gender F. I'm like, that's weird. I guess it's, like, gender F. I'm freaking freaking man. <laughs> so I say, hey, this says gender F. <laughs> and she looked like I told her her entire family just died in a car accident. Because she was like, oh. she couldn't believe she did that. And she's like, oh my God. Like, blah, 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 blah. She uh, mortified. She was mortified. She's like, I've never done that. I was like, don't worry. Like, listen. You couldn't have had this happen yeah. to a more easygoing person in the world. Like, I, I don't care. Like, Look, I'm going to do is take you out back, beat you a little bit. <laughs> It'll be done. Okay. I was like, yeah, I don't Sweet. care. Like, listen, it's Saturday. I got nothing else to do. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, so uh, she's like, let me just finish doing the title, and then I'll, I'll fix that. And I was like, okay. So she goes to print the title, and it prints out on regular printer paper instead of the title thing. Oh my! God. And so now she has to void the title and redo that. Wow, this lady's having a day. Oh, just place, just place. Oh no! Everything falls. Yeah. That's my turn. Oh my! Oh, we're doing all of it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go help the CPU out. Do you need some help or anything? How do I? Tell it to place. Oh, does it, I don't... Does it? Oh, no. I think I'm waiting on you. Yeah, I'm you gotta... On... Once you, the beam is on you. Oh, then you're placing? Yeah. Um. So, long story short, I got my license and I got my title and registration, so... Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Can we... What's going on here? We're just trying to make lines, but it's switching players who can drop and place. I don't actually know how to place. Yeah, me neither. Like, what's the official place button? Is it A? Is no, it A drop? rotates it. Up, up arrow? Oh, what you might it? be right. I think it just eventually times out. No, it's up arrow. I just did it. Oh, you're right, you're right. Nice. And see, we attacked them. Wow, that's weird. Uh, I'm sorry. Continue with your bad story. 
Um, no, it's just about it. I got my license registration. Pretty much all good now. Pretty excited that I got it. And proud of you. Pretty proud excited of that they did life. they did everything. Well, I already had my I just transferred it. But I was pretty excited that they did everything there and I didn't have to go to a separate MVC to get it done. Yeah. I you know, it's funny you mentioned that cuz I actually went to the um the MVA, which is the Maryland version recently because my parents moved and my dad sold the truck and then he was like i'm not going to cancel the insurance until i get tags returned i was like okay well, i guess i'm returning your tags for you so i went and it was it's kind of nice they just had like a you had to make an appointment online if you were going to do anything serious just for tax return i didn't have to make an appointment and then they were like um you showed up and then there was a guard there and the guard was like took your temperature like slash checked you in and he's like, what are you here for? And I was like, I'm just returning tags. And he was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just do it for you. Just wait outside for, for your receipt. And then I, I stood outside and I waited like five minutes. And this lady came out and she's like, all right, here's your receipt. And it was like nice and easy. Nice, nice. COVID safe thing. They took your temperature? That sounds nice. Well, actually, they didn't even take my temperature because I didn't go inside. Oh, true. Yeah, I um I had an appointment, which I managed to snag. So I went to check. I was going to do my vehicle stuff on Friday, and then I went to check the, like, guide that I had been following yeah. for it, and they had updated it saying you needed to do your license first. Because I guess before, yeah. back when you could do them separately, it didn't really matter. So I was like, oh, crap, I got to do... So I went to do license, and it said for licensing, you had to schedule. And I was like, oh, dang it. So I checked the schedule. Every single one was booked November and December. And I finally found oh, one wow. at the at the Newark one for eight forty five in the morning, and I just booked it. Like I was like, I just want this. Gotta do to it. Do this, yeah. and um, so I got there, and the stares I got from all the people who were waiting in line for like the ticket system was incredible. Mm -hmm. Like they were just like so pissed off that I was going inside, and they were stuck outside waiting. <laughs> Wow. And I was like, I'm sorry. It like, made Jumping the whole thing fall. easier. Oh, so the purple ones just fall. I get it now. Oh, jeez. Where am I going? Here. We got to make some lines, y'all. Yeah. Oh, no. That goes there. We have eight lines already. Yeah, I had a good drop earlier. I'm going to shortcut this. Oh, I can't shortcut that. Put it over here. It's not great, but it's got to go somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Actually, you know what? Who's, who's got a line? Oh, there we go. Boom. Was it just timeout? Is that what does it? I don't yeah, I think oh, after time, that's cool. crap. I need to do that. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, so it was it was it was pretty painless, which was thankful. Cuz I really didn't want to get stuck doing something that wasn't even for my own vehicle or anything. Yeah. Um, but it's funny, did you did you have to go do that because in Maryland, I think they did this thing where they're like, "Hey, if you're license, if you need a license renewal or whatever, like and you have to go in, we're just postponing that until after COVID time. I mean, if it was a renewal, I could have just done it online, but I was, I, oh. I was doing an out of state transfer from Massachusetts to New Jersey. Gotcha. Because that I've lived sense. here almost four years and never did that. Gotcha. Cause I'm a lazy, lazy well, person. Cause you don't want to live in Jersey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't, I didn't want to admit <laughs> that I had that lost. I Man, Jersey, what is up with that state? Anyways. Oh, I know, uh, right? Oh, what is that? Oh, you can't. I see. Yeah, it does this thing where it's like, hey, screw you. Hey, screw you, buddy. Hey, do me a favor real quick. Go screw yourself. Oh, no, no. Oh, boy. Bad drop. Oh. Oh, why did it make that?
We gotta kill this boss. Oh buddy. no. I've done a bad done a bad thing. A I'm doing lots thing. of bad things over here. No. Oh, mix us. Put us together. Oh, I died right before it happened. Oh, what's what what happens when you're dead? It's just you two. Oh, I'm I'm stupid. I hate Tetris. Actually, Tetris Battle Gaiden for the Super Nintendo is really good. I thought you never played a Tetris game. I haven't. I just watched people play it a lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Dingus. This kind of stinks. It's like I can't help him make his lines because i got too much going on. Put that there. See those purple ones? They just fall. Oh, really? Yeah. Gravity. He's almost dead. Maybe he'll come back. <gasps> Revive. Revive. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe I need to start making some lines. My controller's vibrating sense. to that beat. I'm trying. I don't know how to actually revive you. Me neither. I should have done the tutorial. Just gonna stack all those over there because. Oh. I got hit. <gasps> oh, I'm hitting it to the beat. And that revives you. Got it. Oh no. Uh, that's pretty oh, cool. Oh my goodness. I'm coming back. Okay. Okay. He's he's almost done so. Come on. Hello, oh, ladies. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. Where everyone believed in me. You know, I got the votes. Come on. They all said I did. Stop soft dropping me. Sounds like a disease. I know this guy boss is kind of tough because he's, he's doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. He's almost there. <laughs> Just keep breaking lines. Oh boy. What am I doing? Yeah. Take that. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh oh no, well I, I I may be dead. Oh no, dance to get back. Oh, I don't have that yet. You hit it as it clo I'm on the close. Oh no. It's all on you, Will. No, I'm not good at Tetris. Do you know about the hold? Yeah. Hit right, yeah. So usually you want to hold a straight piece. Oh, I think I'm done, though. So. Oh, he... No. Oh. Oh, I don't know how that boss stayed alive that long. Well, uh, let's blame it on the CPU. 
Yeah. He was, a CPU player, he was pretty so. bad. He was bad. Hey, we got the D at least. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's see if Forza well, well, loads back up. Um, yeah, try that out. Let me know how it goes. It should be quick resume. But oh, like it I says said, quick at resume the at the top. Time. Yeah, it, it loaded me back, back in. See? And I think the rough test said you could do that with like eight or nine games in a row as long as they all support quick resume. See, I, I'd rather just exit out of the game and then load it again. That's just me. I can't. I still like... When you were like, oh, I just quit the game, I'm like, oh, well, that that's understandable. You know, you save it, and then you back out of it. I didn't realize you were actually force quitting the application. Yeah, I just don't see, see any... Actually, there's but, no okay, downside minute, to it. If I may, there is a downside. I don't... The games are not... That's like alt f 4 because you're not quitting the game from within the game. You're you, having... The you can't quit the, the game from in, within the game. That's true, but you can go back to the main, main menu and then have the console handle it. But force quitting the application, that's like, that's, that's not, that's no bueno, baby. It's funny, you were trying to do the safe thing, but that's probably the least safe out of all the options. I I don't think so, but you can, no, yeah, you're you right. can preach that. The least safe is, is to pull the, to pull the power plug. Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, that doesn't work on the Series X. <laughs> but anyways, um, I actually have to go because I have to do some work. Wow. Tonight. But you can keep streaming if you'd like. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, well, let's outro that. Folks, thank you for watching our video. And by video, I mean stream. We're checking out the Xbox Series X. We will be back Tuesday doing something. We don't know what yet at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, folks, I have been at Hunt270 on Twitter. That is at Think Gibson on Twitter. Um, you can find all of our content at subpixelfilms.com. Our extra life donation, you can still donate. Donate.subpixelfilms.com will bring you right there where you can donate for the kids. Uh, until next time, I've been Will, that's been Ian, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye! Bye!